Well, it's another beautiful, beautiful morning here on the farm. Sun is just coming out behind the mountains there. And uh, got the impact here in front of me, just checking my zero. It's still spot on. Uh, this new system that I'm running here is just amazing. Um, in the past, I had to recheck the zero now and again, but the new M3 and the better tolerances on the gun and the, this little barrel system that I've got running here, my POI is exactly the same place. So it seems like it's going to be a good day. The other guys are just going to check the zeros as well just to make sure that everything is fine. Then we're going to jump on the truck and we're going to go out there. So the guns that we're going to use for today's hunt is the trusty FX Impact M3 and a 22-250 ticker. The 22250 is the ultimate varm set up for me and is perfect for baboons, monkeys and large game birds as you can see from this previous footage. We are shooting a 55 grain Hornady VMAX round that is specifically designed for vomiting like this. With our guns ready and prepped we made our way out to the fields and it didn't take us a long time until we ran into our little troublemakers. Smoked him. 127 yards. I start the day off with a perfect headshot and this 40 grain slug switches him off instantly. Perfectly down, 93 yards. As we were looking for more monkeys, we got a call from the farmer saying that he spotted a large amount of baboons close to the farmhouse. These baboons was over a thousand yards away, so Baron took out his 6.5 Creedmoor. Mm -hmm. We got the wind called perfect, but the range unfortunately wrong, yes. and the shot just landed short. We knew that they couldn't go far and quickly jumped into the truck. We followed them as quick as we could, and a few minutes later, we eventually found them. With the baboons on the run, I knew that my window of opportunity will be closing very soon. I spot one more male climbing a steep rock and this was just enough time for me to take one more shot. Smoke team. Unfortunately on this shot, the gun just recoiled a little bit too much and I just missed the impact on camera. So here they are, two baboons down, two shots, one was right behind the neck on this side. This one was semi here from the side right into the, uh, just behind the shoulder. Nice little shots I took there. 22250 always does an awesome job in shooting varmint pests like this. And uh, the rest of the baboons ran up into the mountainside. I managed to shoot another one up there. That's about 300 yards. Um, I'm not going to take the cameras with to go retrieve that one. That's way up there and I'm pretty sure that the jackals and stuff like that will sort that one out. But uh, here's the two I just shot now. and. Great work from Barrent and who's behind the camera for quick actions here. Believe it or not, as we were getting ready to drive off, we found out we're not alone in these bushes. So we got the 22250 out and went to work. And as you can see by this footage, that 55 grain VMAX does exactly what it's supposed to do. We spot more monkeys running around, and this time it's Baron's turn. Another one down. We spotted a baboon on the far side of the mountain but decided not to take the shot. It was a bit too far for the 22250 and unfortunately we left the 6.5 Crete more at home. We decided to switch back to the impact and set our sights back on the monkeys.
one advantage of shooting heavy slugs is that the slug has enough energy to keep on its flight path. A pellet just won't work in the surroundings. The other two monkeys down. Nice little headshot. Yeah. And this one was a little bit, yeah, this was also just underneath the neck. Good stuff. Great day so far. A lot of monkeys, but uh, a lot of troublemakers as well. And uh, we're taking care of business today. Eh? <laughs> so let's take a quick break to discuss my barrel system I'm currently using on my gun. A few weeks ago, a good friend of mine called Hein Froman sent me a upgrade kit to install on my gun. Now Hein is a well-known bench race shooter here in South Africa. He's got professional colors and he's got a lot of experience when it comes down to barrels and systems related. So the very first thing that I want to show you is that I am using a standard FX barrel with a superior heavy liner inside of it. If I unscrew the silencer here in the front, I'm going to take off this outer system quickly just to show you what's inside. I am using a Donny FL Ronin silencer. Very nice, works very well with my gun. And you will see that I am pulling a outer carbon fiber sleeve off the standard barrel. Something that you won't see with your naked eye now from the outside is that inside this barrel around the liner is a carbon fiber sleeve. FX is selling this as a upgrade to your gun or aftermarket part and that is what is sitting currently inside this barrel. If you look in the front part of this impact you will see there's a small alteration made to this front part here in the block um, which holds the barrel also a little bit more tighter. And that's basically the barrel system that I'm running and testing at the moment. And I might say it's a real, real nice improvement to the gun. Straight down 117 yards. I guess I got a little bit lucky on this one. My slug hit a thick branch and reflect right into the upper neck. But he's still dead as it stands and that is good enough for me. With a little bit of daylight left, we set the gongs out at 330 yards and listen to the sweet sound of steel ringing. Double tap, 330 yards. <laughs> How awesome is that? Enough time for the bullets to fly mid-air, two of them back to back and we can still wait for the sound to come back with like that. If you are new to my channel and you like today's content, then please remember to subscribe to get the latest videos and updates on my hunting adventures. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time.